Hi everyone, welcome back to Lair Academy. It's Mickey again, and in this lesson, we're going to be creating the database migrations for our knowledge base. Let's start off by taking a look at our schema. Our schema is pretty simple. We're going to keep the current users table as is. We'll create a new table for the categories. We'll also create a new table for articles. And these two tables are going to be linked by this pivot table called article category. Let's load up our terminal and create these migration files. Once our terminal is loaded up, we'll start by typing php artisan make migration. We want to make the category table, so we'll say create category table. And next, we'll follow up with the create command. So we'll say minus minus create equals categories. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for our create article and create article category pivot table. The only real change here is in our create flag. The create flag is telling the migration to create some boilerplate code for us so that the table is automatically created and we're not altering the table. Let's finish up this last command and let's open up one of the migration files. Now let's open up our IDE and let's navigate to database migrations. You can see we have a bunch of migrations in here now. We have the users and password resets. I'm not going to be using the password resets, but I'm not going to delete it because we might use that in the future. What we really care about is the three files here at the bottom. We'll start off with create category table. You can see the schema is creating a table called categories and inside here is going to be the blueprint for all of our fields. We're going to need a string for the name. We're also going to need a boolean whether or not the category is active and let's set the default to this active as true. Now we can save our category table as we are done with that and let's open up the article table. In our create schema, we're going to have a few different things. We'll leave the ID. We're going to need a string for the title of our article. And we're also going to need a text field. And let's actually use some medium text in case our article becomes very long. And this is going to be the markdown code that we're going to supply. Let's actually, instead of calling this markdown, let's just call this content. So we'll remove the markdown field and just rename it to content. Just like on our categories, we're going to have a Boolean field, so this will be a small integer for active, and we'll set the default to true. Now we can save this migration and finally open up our pivot table, which is the create article category. Now this table is very simple. We're going to have an integer for our category ID, and we want to make sure that it is unsigned. Now the reason that we're using an unsigned integer is because we're not going to be using negative values. We can do the exact same thing for our, our article ID. And then once again, just make sure that it is an unsigned integer. Now we can save this schema and make sure that our environment variables are filled in properly. If we come over to our navigation, we want to make sure that we open up the .env file. You can see right here where you have a whole bunch of different DB variables. Just make sure yours are filled in properly. And the last step here is going to be running PHP Artisan Migrate. This is going to take our database migrations and insert them into MySQL or whatever database we're using. And that's it. We're all done. Our database migration is working correctly and we're all set up for the next lesson. Thanks for watching.